Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the China EV Show. I'm your host, Toby, as usual. And today, uh, I want to talk about some recent news, which is NEO achieving over a thousand kilometers, 1,044, I believe, was the trip in one of their 150 kilowatt hour batteries. Uh, not developed in house, developed by a third party, but it's used in a NEO. And the CEO, William Lee, went on a trip, it took him a hell of a long time, and he was able to achieve the whole trip within one single charge of this battery achieving 1044 kilometers and along this trip he changed co-pilot several times so while he stayed in there it's maybe an engineer came in maybe someone from marketing uh, to discuss things about the brand things about the product whatever the journey was done 90 percent um, kind of autopilot so navigated by the car um, which should be taken with a pinch of salt because i think more than 90 percent of it was done on a highway or on highways so it was mostly just um, highway navigation. Um, and a couple of people are a bit skeptical about this figure. Uh, not that it wasn't achieved, but that it was, there was a lot of assistance to get it to this, this higher figure and saying that, oh, the speed was limited to 90 kilometers an hour, um, which, is, which was true, um, which isn't really how you would drive in the real world. But at the same time, it is motorway driving, so it uses more energy. And maybe uh, it was using a slipstream of a van or a truck to improve the efficiency even more. But that being said, I don't want to take anything away from Neo because I think they did a really good job here. And um, even if it wasn't exactly that figure, I think anything around a thousand kilometers is impressive. And I think it's definitely enough for most consumers. So it's worth mentioning that this 150 kilowatt hour battery is, while it has a higher capacity, is actually the same dimensions as Neo's other batteries, which means it can be used in both their first and second generation vehicles so it can be swapped out one of the batteries of the neos can be swapped out for this 150 kilowatt hour battery regardless of what neo you are in so i think this is really interesting about this 150 kilowatt hour battery size because as we know neo currently has a 75 and 100 kilowatt hour and you can either buy these when you buy the car or you know kind of battery as a subscription where you buy the car without the battery and you can pay for either the 75 or the 100 kilowatt hour battery on a monthly basis depending on you know how often you're going to need it but at the same time if you have a 75 kilowatt hour battery and you want a little bit of extra range you are able to rent a 100 kilowatt hour battery on a short-term basis if you're going a little bit further so now this 150 kilowatt hour battery has taken this even further to offer consumers the choice of going even further basically um, so now they have 75 100, 100 it's not available yet it'll be available next year but when it is out it'll be a good choice for those who want to go on a road trip perhaps those who have more intensive driving as part of their daily life. Um, but I mean, how often do you really need to drive a thousand kilometers on a single charge anyway? Um, right now it's, it's very expensive. It costs about the price of an ET5. So it costs the, the price of a whole vehicle. But I think there are very few people that will actually buy this battery or rent it on a long-term basis. I think this is just to offer, offer people another option and give them the chance to if you really want to go, oh, maybe Chinese New Year, go home and see your family, or you're going on a very long road trip, you can rent this 150 kilowatt hour battery for however long you need it. And then it could kind of alleviate some of your stress and anxiety. And it also kind of like a bit of a, a, bit of a stab at fast charging, because if you have a thousand kilometers of range, you have less of a need to, to want to charge your car so fast, right? You could get through the week and then have a slow charge maybe once a week and then that would be enough. I, th I still think it's very interesting to look at this battle between fast charging and battery swapping because, you know, at this almost the same time as Neo released doing this uh, live stream uh, of this 150 kilowatt hour battery, Zika also released its golden battery, uh, which obviously is not a battery swapping battery. Although Gita Group did actually sign an agreement with Neo quite recently, Zika are very clear about which direction they're going. They're going in the fast charging direction, at least as a priority. And they released their golden battery almost the same couple of days as this live stream was held. Um, so this kind of like trade-off between battery swapping and super fast charging is very interesting. It'd be interesting to see where it goes. For me, uh, I wasn't really sure about battery swapping, but now everyone else seems to be into it. So I'm kind of getting on board. And um, also, you know, a lot of people mentioned the fact that in terms of battery longevity, battery swapping is a better option. Fast charging may be good, but it actually degrades the battery quite um, well, much faster than battery swapping anyway, because battery swapping can be done slow charging. 
That's all for today, and let us know what you think about NEO's 150 kilowatt hour battery, and do you think it will be significant in making battery swapping the number one way to refuel your car? Please let us know in the comments below. I've been Toby, and I'll see you next time on the China EV Show. Goodbye.